to take a moment to uh, talk about the latest addition to my arsenal here. Um, the Doug Jones refers to the Doug Jones company refers to it as the Vertebrax. I call it the Atomic Limbo Pole, the Spear of Destiny, a number of other euphemisms. But uh, a lot of people ask exactly what's its deal, what is it? And uh, the best way to explain it is that it is a um, extended long scale bass guitar mounted vertically uh, for reasons of just pure uh, convenience for myself because of bass of this uh, nature mounted up uh, horizontally about the height that I'd like to play it is the reach would be the reach would exceed my grasp so to speak so it just makes more sense to have it function in this manner and because of the extended 36 inch scale it does have uh, a tremendous upright sound uh, for not being made of wood. It's all carbon fiber. It sounds terribly woody. Even the frets are carbon fiber and yes it is fretted so that's uh, another departure from the traditional electric upright. It uh, has a sound all its own. Uh, it is not in any way shape or form designed to be played with one hand. Uh, the finger tap style that I play just happens to lend itself pretty well to this particular instrument and uh, frankly the uh, confusion that might be lent uh, towards it because people just assume that uh, it's made to be played with one hand because it's so different uh, but uh, I have a number of friends who play upright who enjoy it uh, anyone who's uh, wanted to play upright but was intimidated by a, uh, a flat fretboard with no fret markers for reasons of intonation doesn't have to worry about that it, it basically gives a bass guitar player some of the uh, tonal advantages of, of an upright with a huge fundament. <clears throat> that having been said, I think we'll play a little more. Tony?